Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever. You focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. A believer is an optimist who thinks of tomorrow. Duke Ellington. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials finished down 140. NASDAQ off 54. S&P's down 16 and a half. All with big volume. Gold contract down seven dollars and twenty cents, trading at one thousand two eighty-eight an ounce. Silver down twenty-two cents at seventeen dollars and forty-three cents an ounce. Platinum down fifteen bucks at one thousand sixty-four an ounce. Copper down five pennies at two twenty-one a pound. Light sweet crude off a buck thirteen, forty-three dollars sixty-five cents a barrel. Bonds, the ten-year note down up rather nineteen ticks. 130.09, 30 year bond up one full point, 19 ticks, 163.25, King Dollar up 317 ticks, 92.93, King Dollar got down to the 91.88 level, rejected that, we'll talk about that, bottom line, you're up 300 at 92.93, Euro, Euro down 27 at a buck 15, the yen is trading at 106, our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? We go over to the cash S&P. This is what you have. We did a billion shares out here yesterday. Today, you go up yesterday with 959 million. This is setting up a B to a C of an ABC structure on the way down. So what we're looking at is this. You have the B point, which is established, which is the 2000. 2052 area. I suspect we're going to go after it tomorrow and we'll see whether we get the volume to break it to have a small ABC structure on the way down. If you take a look at the SPY, what you're going to see in the SPY is this. The SPY on Friday did 142 million shares. We got down to a price point of 205, $205.03. You bounced yesterday on 62 million. We did 100 million. You're laying out at this low, I expect you're gonna actually jump the creek. And jumping the creek means that it just jumps over the 205.30. If we take a look at the futures, what you have inside the future market, the way this is laid out right now is this. The E-minis are at 20.57. You closed out on Friday at 20.59. You know, so we'll, we'll see, the E-minis don't close for another uh, 11 minutes. We'll see whether we stay down here. I do expect we will, but we'll see whether we do. e minis more than likely tomorrow morning, you know, well, we trade them during the night, but when you folks wake up in the morning, more than likely the e minis are going to be somewhere down about the 2040 to 2045 mark. That's the way that they're set up. Because you're already into the bar from the, uh, the consolidation that we had from the 29th of March over to the 12th of April. Gold contract, what do we have with gold? Gold contract out here trading at a price point of 12.88. You did 208,000 contracts. Bottom line, you're backing down with lighter volume. You're backing into 274,000 contracts. The low of today that was established is 12.84. What gold will have to do first is get back in under 12.67. Doesn't look like it wants to do it. Silver, what do we have with silver? Silver's the same setup. Silver's hot, more, much more volatile, same type of setup. Uh, meaning that you've gone up with volume, you're backing down with lighter volume. Uh, silver right now, we're trading the July contract. July contract comes down with 59,000 contracts today. That 59,000 contracts is coming into 72,000 contracts. The low of that contract would be $17.18. You know, we'll see whether it can get down there. Thus far, hasn't been able to do it. Bonds, now, the notes. This is where it's gonna get really cool. So the notes out here today, big, big bid inside the notes. Meaning, you know, you had bias on the way up. And then, bottom line, it's still, they still couldn't hold the higher price and get the expansion simultaneously. So when we came down, folks, we came down on the 20th of April, we came down from 130.19 to 129. We did that with 1.29 million share uh, contracts. Um, we got, we did 1.25, which is, which is decent. Um, bottom line though, it couldn't get up 
uh, into that 130.19. That's a big number. Uh, why? Because that's where the breakdown was. Well, the se and that's the second breakdown, by the way. The 30-year bond actually has released more information because the 30-year didn't get even close to the high of the breakdown. On the, th the number on the 30-year is 165.29. You had 282,000 contracts. We got to 164.10. You know, so that's uh, also to me saying that guess what? Um, the Fed doesn't want to go up at rates, but the market itself slightly is going to go up on rates. King dollar. Let's go over to King dollar. So what do you have with King dollar? King dollar today got down to the price point of 91.88, a rejected lower price. That being said, we had higher volume. So what does that set up? If we take a look at this on a continuous contract, what you're going to see is that we put this on a weekly. So this, we've been in this consolidation since uh, January of 2015. Uh, the November 24th low was, was the price it was going after, which is 92.52. Bottom line, we get to 91.88 today. You have the juice down there. We'll see where this bounce comes in. You know, I, I expect you probably get some kind of a bounce. I actually don't expect this bounce to go too far. It could go into 94.24. It could go into 94.64. Both the 94.24 and 94.64 is this. 94. 64 is the low that was established the week of the 18th. The 9429 is the low that was established the week of the 1st. Um, lots of numbers. We're going to have lots of numbers coming out here. We go take a look at the small caps. What we have with the small caps is this. Small caps broke a B point of an ABC structure and broke it with volume. Uh, the B point here was $111.72. You're at $111.62. That's confirmation that, guess what? We're at $111.62. The A to B structure, the price projection is $110. You know, so we'll see how we get down into those levels. Uh, we certainly had the expansion of volume inside the indices today. We did 1 billion shares versus the 900 million of yesterday. Uh, NASDAQ, uh, bottom line, the NASDAQ is the leader on the way down. NDX 100 is the leader on the way down. Uh, the composite itself uh, has juice. We did 1.9 billion shares out here versus a 1.8 on the way up yesterday. If we go over to, and look at the IBB, uh, bottom line is it now the IBB affects the composite more than the NAT and the X100, but the IBB also finished down five bucks, finished as, as lows. The IBB looks to me like it wants to run down to this 252 area, and right now we're at 265. This is Tom O'Brien, this is TFNN. Stay right there, folks. We'll be coming back with lots of numbers for you. The Dow finished down 140, NASDAQ down 54, SP's down 17. We're going to be right back.